59 OCU defeats Randall here with Coach Stan Holt. Coach, your thoughts on the game today? Uh, it was a uh, it was a tough game. I thought we had some really good stretches in the first half. Uh, opened up a lead against Randall, um, and then in the second half, you you expect tough teams to make runs, and Randall's tough and they're well coached. And they did. They made a couple of runs on us, and uh, we were able to withhold it. Changed a couple things defensively. Uh, but I thought something that hurt us in the second half was our free throw shooting. Uh, I don't know if you were going to ask me about that, uh, but uh, it definitely hurt us, even in the one and one, uh, not making the front ends of those. Mm -hmm. And so I think we left a number of points off the board, and uh, I think that game would have gone differently had we made some of those uh, early on. In the first game against Randall, Jordan Marshall went for 20 and 12. Today, scoreless in the first half, holding only five points uh, overall for the game. What were you doing differently on Jordan Marshall this game that you didn't do last game? I think there was uh, a bigger emphasis on him. I think, I think the first thing we did was we talked a lot more about him uh, than we did the first game. He scored 27. Uh, I believe in their last game against uh, Ozark Christian. And then I think he was like 20 and 12 against us the first game. And so um, he, he he definitely showed all kinds of ability to score. Uh, and uh, it was I didn't I didn't realize we had held him to that that little. Um, but we it, he was definitely an emphasis in our personnel part of the scout. They're obviously a, a team that that goes smaller quite a bit, but. That being said, rebounds 47-35 in favor of you guys and a 30-18 to 18 points in the paint advantage as well. Yeah, that was a point of emphasis. And you know, you and I have talked about this, that, you know, the glass has not been not been a strength of ours to this point in the season. And uh, it's really uh, post Wayland Baptist game, uh, almost all we talked about was Randall's scout and then how are we going to rebound the ball. And I think – you know, we turned it over too much in this game, and, and our offense didn't look great at times. Sometimes it looked really good. And, you know, the couple of possessions in transition where the ball just moved three, four, five players within a matter of seconds and, and got really good layups or, or, or open threes. And then there were times it just looked like we were having trouble scoring. Uh, but our emphasis was rebounding. And uh, I thought uh, A.J. Uh, had a really good night on the glass. I thought A.D. had a really good night. In, and I just thought that their mindset was right uh, for this game in terms of uh, being a force on the glass. Both of those guys with double doubles, Anthony Davis 14 and 12, and Cockrell with 12 and 12 today. So th those numbers would bear that out. How about this? Everybody who played scored. Everybody who played got a rebound, and all but one got an assist today. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Uh, you know what? Those guys, um, as long as we continue to share the ball, as long as we continue to move the ball, as long as we continue to rebound as a team, which I hope we can continue the, the, the tone that we set tonight, and that will be a major emphasis for us moving forward, uh, I, I think we'll continue to grow and continue to be a better team uh, with each uh, coming game. But that's, that's the goal, right? We want to play our best basketball down the stretch, and so it's a long season. And uh, right now I was proud, though, uh, especially of those individuals that, that went and got 12 rebounds apiece. A.J. was really not feeling well. Um, he, was, he was sick for this game, and uh, he, just, he just gutted it out. And uh, I was proud of him for that. And he gave us a boost on the offensive glass. Uh, I thought we were four or five or something in the last game on the offensive glass. And so for A.J. to come up with six on his own, um, out rebounding our previous number uh, on the offensive glass as a team, that was really, really a, a great statement. Eddie Smith with a really good first half. He had 16 points for the game, came in, gave you a lot of energy in the first half. Against Randall last time, he was a leading scorer as well. So he, he had another good game against these guys, and uh, he's hitting shots, man. Four out of five from three for Eddie Smith today. Eddie is really talented, and we've got some talented guards, I think. Um, I think the major thing right now is can they do a good job of, of making decisions with the basketball? Like we, we put them in pick-and-roll situations, different things. And when they get into the paint, sometimes they make great decisions and sometimes they don't. And that's a lot of what's leading us to, you know, 20 turnovers, I think, on the night. And, as, again, that's, that's too high of a number. It seems like we're talking about either the turnover number or the rebounding number each night. And if we could solve both of them in the same game, I think we would be uh, in, in a great situation moving forward. And uh, so we're going to come back after this Thanksgiving break and put a huge emphasis on – as far as our guards are concerned, getting into the lane and making great decisions, and we're going to rep that a lot, and hopefully 
um, it'll show when we play WT on uh, on Friday. You went zone a little bit in the second half today. You don't do that very much, do you? Don't don't tell anybody that. <laughs> Come on, man. They uh, can see it. It was right there. <laughs> it's on film. <laughs> uh, you know what? You're right. We we did do that a little bit. Um, we've done it uh, a handful of times this year. Uh, we did it against Panhandle, and uh, it it really worked well. And then. Uh, I thought about it against Whalen. wasn't sure it was the right team to do it against, um, but uh, I pulled it out again here in the second half, and and I thought that it really helped us down the stretch. I thought it it kind of gave them a different look. I don't think they were necessarily prepared to see that, um, and so I think it was really good. And Darion does a great job at the top of that thing. Uh, it, it's the most work in the zone that we're running. The most work by far is is the guy at the top, and Darion is at the top, and he's just flying around, and he really makes that thing work for us. And um, and then having A.J. and A.D. on the bottom of it, cleaning up the glass really helps us. It keeps them by the basket. So it's really good for us. I don't – you know, it's never going to be a staple, but I think it's a great change of pace, and, and the guys are really buying into it, and they really like it as well, which helps. Do you have several versions of a zone defense that you'll use, or is it basically just one concept that you'll throw in occasionally? I mean, that, that concept is, is one that uh, is, it's really been the only one we've really shown – that that we're going to go to it doesn't necessarily mean we won't have something else down the down the road but I'd like to get really good at that because I think it's really promising and I think if we use it sparingly and we use it with the right timing uh, I think it can be a really effective weapon for us and I thought it was today and I thought it was last Thursday against Panhandle and as long as we do a good job of picking and choosing and and we continue to buy into it and get better uh, day after day boy I think it can be good for us. Holiday week upcoming, and then uh, one more game before we go on the long break. You're on the road at West Texas A&M. So what does your upcoming schedule look like for the guys? Yeah, so uh, give them a few days off here. A lot of them will go home uh, and spend some time with their families. And there's a few that will stick around here, and, and uh, we'll make sure that – uh, they, they get a great Thanksgiving, the guys that are staying here as well. And then we'll get back at it uh, this weekend. And uh, we've, we've got a team practice coming up, followed by, you know, some individual work. And then we're going to get a, a little team meal together uh, Sunday night uh, just to kind of reconvene and get back together as a, as a group, as a family. And then, you know, we've got uh, guys getting down in the stretch at the end of the semester and, and finals coming up. And so they got to stay focused there and continue to hone some of the things that we've been talking about with this not only man-to-man -man, but zone defense. And then WT, Friday, I think it's 11 a.m. Uh, boy, they're a really good team. And uh, it'll be a great, tr great test for us, and it'll give us some great film to, to work on uh, as, as we work on that long break, which – um, and, and and women's basketball I was talking about earlier. They're, they've got a kind of a long break as well, yeah. and so uh, we're we're trading ideas on hey, what are we going to do to keep, try to keep sharp and make sure that uh, we continue to build on what we're building, so that when we come back, uh, we've got uh, Langston coming back from the break on January second on the road, and so uh, they they they're a tough team. They've been playing extremely well, and we've got to be ready to go for them as well. So. Um, uh, the, the long break is not something we wanted, but it's something we've got, and so we're, we're going to do the best we can to keep them pre prepped for that. Happy Thanksgiving to you, and, and definitely, I don't know if this is, I don't know if it's the end of the interview, but I definitely <laughs> want to make sure before it is that I say Happy Thanksgiving to you and to the OCU family. And to you as well as we uh, head into our long break. At least for us, I won't have another game till we go to Langston on the second. That's right. I get the entire month of December with no with no basketball games here. That's what that's are a you going to do? Concept. Well, we'll we'll figure something. Out. <laughs> Seventy nine to sixty nine. The final score. OCU defeats Randall, and we will talk to you next time on OCUSports.com.